Hey, I'm loving you. This is here. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in Venture Tale again because we're going to be going over two lovely classes. We're going to be going over Book and we're going to be going over The Shield. So, if you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the level like button, do the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. So, let's get right on into it. So, Book is a class that you are able to unlock after you get level 20 dagger and level 20 wand. And I covered that in my last video. So if you have not checked that video out, I would make sure you go ahead and do so because it also goes over spells. We talk about spell synergy. I'm not going to be covering that in this video because uh, otherwise this video would be like 45 minutes long. Uh, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So big thing to note if you are doing this duo. One, shield can be paired with just about anything and does really, really well. Sword and shield, big meta in the game. Reaper and shield, big meta in the game. I mean, shield is one of those one of those classes that can be paired with anything. Book, most people do dual wield book. I chose to do shield and book together because it gave me a little bit of defense that I normally would not have, and I still got the offensive capabilities that you would get with book. What is book? Book is something I do need to specify. So basically, what it's going to do is give you spell power, cooldown rate, and an ability. So every single level that comes with these books. There is an ability or a spell that it comes with. This level 27 book has cosmic alignment, which gives me a buff to my spell power. The level 30 book gives me ice spear. You may not always use the tie end book. I do prefer probably the level 27 book over the level 30 book, but that's just a personal preference. Now, overall, when I was grinding this, these two together, really, really easy because you've already gone through and gotten spells once with wand. It made it a little bit easier. I also was able to have a little bit more defense. Now, if you don't know how shield works, basically as you go into a dungeon, you are able to block dam incoming damage. Uh, and you just hold down or indicate the attack for that side, and you are able to shield yourself. It also comes with an ability called Brace, where you reduce your damage. So you are actually going to be slightly beefier than most of the mages. And considering I had this rant last time about how most of the spell abilities, you have to be in melee range in order to cast 90% of these spells. So this is kind of going to help save your life a little bit. Now, one thing I would like to note with this build, this is just how I chose to do things. So please kind of keep that in mind. You are also going to need for this build, definitely some mana potions. You are going to eat through mana like crazy because you're going to have an extra spell slot, basically. You could, in fact, have basically five things to cast all at once. You're going to eat through mana like crazy. So, big tip, make sure you run a potion with this. Uh, that's one reason I ran shield, is it gave me a little bit more defense. So, I had more health, so I wasn't as concerned with using, you know, healing po potions. Now, the one downside with book is it has no physical attack. Neither does shield, which means I, unless I was casting spells, I couldn't attack anything. <laughs> so, that is kind of one of the big drawbacks to doing this combo, is that, uh, yeah, you, you can't do, you can't do a whole lot. But... The joys of leveling up book, I will have to say, we're going to have to start off with its level 15 perk. When you hit level 15, you automatically get a plus 15 spell power just using this class, which is actually kind of nuts that when you play this class, you are even more powerful just with that. Now, the max mana for this, I absolutely love because this is going to be a universal bonus for all of your classes, and this is going to help all of them do super, super well. However, shield, just letting y'all know, uh, it gives shield health and you get at level 30, you get plus 15% weapon damage when you have equipped at least one shield. This is really good with sword and board and with rapier and doing shield as well. Now, if you will notice, I am not using the high end level 30 shield. I am actually using the crystal shield, which is the level 18 shield. Why I'm using this is because it gives me spell power bonus. Some of these shields have extra bonuses attached to them. Most of them are like the Divine Protector right here, which just gives some flat bonuses. The Goblin Target, however, gives an additional weapon damage. So I see a lot of higher end players using legendary or godlike tiers of these. Trying to keep that in mind, this is an option you have to use. It is very, very nice. It's really, really good. I personally would use it, it and I plan on using it when I go to spec into rapier. I'm going to be using shield as its secondary. It's going to be a super, super good bonus for you, help you out a lot. Now, we've been through kind of all the spell stuff, and because your book actually comes with a spell for most of this, uh, you actually don't need to have equipped as many spells, and you can do some silly things like the following. 
So if I was choosing to run the level 30 spellbook and the level 27 spellbook, I could just run one. So I could just use Arc Lightning and do an absolutely insane amount of damage. And my secondaries would be Refined Magic Shard and Amulet of Savage Magic. And uh, let me just go ahead and equip another book just, just to kind of show you all how broken this can be. So let's go ahead and hit this. Let's go ahead and buff it. We can hit E, do that spell ability. Let's go ahead and hit 1 again. And yeah, just, just do a, a sane amounts of damage. As that sounds like fun. That just sounds like fun. As y'all can see also, I am burning. I am burning through stuff. My, ma my mana does not stand a chance. So spell dual spell books is also something that a lot of people do run. Builds generally can range from using any types of the spells. However, remember, like I stated, your spell book is also going to have stuff. Also, if you bend your spell books down, you could they actually have like individual stuff on each of them. It's actually really cool. I really, really like that. Now, the last thing I do want to cover with this whole setup is shield. So I have already talked about, you know, using shield for other classes you can also if you are feeling brave if you are feeling brave and you are the tank let me get a tank setup for y'all all right so this would be a tank setup for y'all if you are wanting to run dual shield which is a totally non-offensive build whatsoever like this build has no damage potential at all however it will stay alive you can get things like Shield Bracer, which are going to increase your shield health, your damage reduction, and your defense, which defense helps you mitigate damage. You get Provoke, which is a level 1 spell, and basically what Provoke does is going to taunt enemies to come towards you. The higher level the spell is, the higher level the threat. And the high end, which is Pressure Wave, this also generates threat as well, except it's an AoE and it pulls everything towards you, so it's kind of like Black Hole. And duoing this with Black Hole was, was absolutely amazing. You can't activate both shields at the same time, sadly, but you can do things like that and it kind of gets broken. So, and I only, I have 1500 health. I still have other classes I can go and max to go get more HP. And one of these shields is not the greatest. Yeah, one of these shields is not the greatest, so I always could go get a better one and to be able to have more health. And something I want to note, whether it be any mage class, I uh, always recommend using the spell gear. So this is going to help with the cooldown, your weapon damage, all that good jazz. So yeah, I would highly, highly recommend you use the spell stuff. And this is the Dark Wizard robes, by the way, if you have not seen them. Clems, that is the lovely book and the lovely shield class. Shield, one of those abilities I really think you should get up. It, it's going to help you out, especially with some single-handed weapons, especially if you're dying a lot, because it's going to give you extra health and everything. So, Clems, thank you for being here. I greatly appreciate it, and uh, I will see you all next time. If you have any comments or questions about the class builds, uh, let me know in the comment section down below.